For over 10 years, Starfish has been working to change the lives of orphans and vulnerable children, one child at a time. We do this by working with projects within local communities on the ground to help them extend their reach and improve delivery of care so that more children are given immediate and sustainable support. I was drawn to Starfish as a fortunate South African who wants to give something back. I recently had the opportunity to visit South Africa and have a look firsthand at some of Starfish's projects. The single most striking impression from my visit was the drive and determination of those that have built these organizations from the ground up. They are ordinary people who have very little themselves. I was struck by their humility, warmth and good humor. From a small rented building to which she walks five miles every day, Pindi from Masibuke helps 37 villages, 588 kids and hosts 50 children after school every day. The organizations funded by Starfish support kids' futures, not just their present needs. They are given uniforms, textbooks and school lunches. They are also given social support at home. The results are incredible. In the Patterson area of Port Elizabeth, 90% of kids who attended the Starfish funded eSeaport Centre passed their high school matriculation. I am convinced that the most effective solutions to the economic and social devastation caused by the HIV AIDS pandemic do not come from unilateral actions taken by external organisations but from the affected communities themselves. Key to that proposition is the presence of dedicated, determined and effective community-based leaders. Starfish is making a significant impact in community-based projects across the country. We are now working in partnership with 50 frontline organisations, reaching more than 25,000 children at their homes and in our centres. However, this is not enough, and we need your help to reach many, many more. Getting involved is easy. It just takes an open heart and a willingness to fundraise. In April this year, I implemented a volunteer art project for the kids of Port Elizabeth. I funded the project by running two local races in New York and the famous Two Oceans Marathon. Art has always been a big part of my life and I knew that if I could give the kids the gift of art, then it would be something they would remember and be proud of. So I partnered with a local arts community. They volunteered their creativity to paint a mural on the wall of Obami. Obami is an organization funded by Starfish in Quasi Kelly Township outside of Port Elizabeth. We were blown away when we walked to the doors of Ubami. It was the sound of laughter and kids running around. They started singing in Kosa and dancing, and it was just an amazing experience. I just so happened to notice a little girl off to the side. Momo is four years old and HIV positive. She had no idea what that meant, but what she knew is that every day she wanted to wake up and be fed and be clothed and be happy and be loved and just be a little kid. And every day, Ubami gives her that opportunity, providing the kids with food, clothes, and a safe environment while their caretakers are either at school or at work. When I asked the teenagers, why do you come here? There's so many things you can do after school. And their response is, it feels like home. I knew that this project would have an impact on their lives, but what I wasn't ready for was the impact that these kids would have on me. 